2013, La James International College would like to congratulate Danielle Palmer for successfully completing her cosmetology education. Yay! Did you really say it? <laughs> it won't work. You didn't even know it. You didn't even catch it. You didn't even catch 2013. No. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Everybody else caught it except you. Sorry. They're all looking good. Yeah. Okay, so Danielle is at Central where she wants us to like bash her. Um, I don't know why because she gets some sick pleasure out of it. But, um, Danielle, what I can say is the last three months, I want to know my grades. I want to know my grades. You got to get this improved. Well, Danielle, you didn't freaking pass. So. <laughs> I'm trying to be mean, but I can't. It's hard. Um, so I'm sorry, but you're going to have to retake the whole program because you got a big old F. Um, I can't be mean. Um, that salon ecology chapter that you yeah. take. Um, I, I feel bizarre doing this meanly, but um, I can tell. I'm gonna say nice things. But I'm gonna Parents say this got first. The mean stuff and I told Danielle. I thought Danielle was probably one of the most annoying students I've ever had. Um, and it's she completely changed. Look at everybody say, "Oh, like she wants me to be mean." Um, and let me tell you why, because Danielle always knew everything, because Danielle teaches it on YouTube, Danielle does this, Danielle does that, Danielle knows everything. Um, I had to hear it constantly that Danielle does and knows everything, thinks it's she's true, better though. than me. Um, I can tell you, I enjoy this girl so much, and I'm going to try to change it up a little bit more, but um, you were a wee bit annoying in the beginning. <laughs> that I couldn't wait till you were out of term one. <laughs> but, um, I really, really, can't wait till you get Danielle. I'm like, oh, wait, wait till you get Danielle. Um, like, she is so freaking annoying. No, okay. But um, ever since you've been gone in my classroom, I really, really, I enjoy you much more. And, and I enjoy you from the aspect that every time you tell me something, like, I just learned something brand new because, believe me, I mean, you guys know Danielle. She has some crazy stories. She has some guys, woo, craziness. But um, very entertaining. Um, and I do really enjoy you. I sat with you on the bus on the way back from Chicago, and I enjoyed everything about you. But this girl right here, she is one that's going to go a long ways. She not only came to school to get education, but she does so much on her own you guys wouldn't even imagine. Um, she, you know, we go to Trend Vision, and Danielle has all this um, set up to go talk to everybody. Um, we go to Chicago, and she's got her whole schedule planned out, um, where she's going to go at this time, and then she's going to go to this on this time. Um, if you didn't already know, she's a YouTube sensation. Um, she's got so many videos on YouTube, um, and my favorite is her Big Brother audition tape um, that she did last year. Um, quite entertaining, where she's playing her cat as a guitar. Um, she's dressed up in costume makeup. <laughs> Um, with blood gushing out of her face, driving in her car, um, she's dancing in her big moo moo in her, in her, with the cat, um, playing the cat's guitar. The next door, by the way. It's coming um, up if you want to meet it. She, what else? Her boobs are real, guys. That's what's out of her big car. She takes. So you don't have to worry, because we all knew that. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. She was at one point in her Big Brother audition tape in her Le James shirt saying, if I win Big Brother, I'm going to donate the money, to, some of the money to the school to make a scholarship. Um, so she's definitely dedicated to this industry. Um, and you know what? It's going to take her a long ways. And I know she got this bummer call yesterday from New, from New York City saying that we really want you to come here and we really are interested in you. And she's like, I've already got my plans made. And she was so bummed. She came to me right away and said, I wish it would have been sooner. And I said, you know what? Go down to Virginia Beach. Do what you can do. And the, New York is always going to be there. If they want you, um, they're going to keep after you. Um, but she is one that doesn't take no for an answer. Okay? And believe me. We know so much, like, makeup videos, she, she'll call up the manufacturer and talk to them. This doesn't work, you know, help me out here. Um, but she has taken the bull by the horns, and the reason she's going to be successful is because outside of school, she eats, lives, and breathes this industry. And I'm not going to lie, she is very, very educated. She knows a lot. So um, with that being said, I'm going to truly miss you. I really, really will. And I hate roasting you because I don't think it's right. So, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh God.
<laughs> That's an ordinary face. I did. I just heard about this roast, so I'm not gonna lie. A parrot just threw a couple good things to me. Um, I agree with everything Cedarson said. You are annoying as heck. <laughs> I heard it one more time that can you please go get Mrs. Beecher? She's supposed to be talking to me. Well, Mrs. Beecher doesn't even talk to me. How is she talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I worked here for six years. Um, <laughs> but the, the next thing is where is Dave Navarro's guitar? I really wanted that. We need to give him a backstory about and that. I thought maybe though. Carmen Electra was going to come with him too. <laughs> for Pete's sake. <laughs> so we had the breast cancer auction, and Danielle's all YouTube in and Twitter in and Facebook in and MySpace in, all of her buddies in the hair industry. Like we got, she's best buddies with Nick Arojo, if you didn't know. She's best buddies with uh, the Doves. She knows them all. I am. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> she knows them all, and so she comes to tell me one day that, um, yeah, I talked to Dave. I talked to uh, Dave Navarro's neighbor. I'm like. <laughs> How? And if you don't know who Dave Navarro is, he used to be married to Carmen Electra. And so, and he was uh, some, he was in some James band. And okay, he was in Jane's Edition and Nirvana and whoever else said that. So, um, she tells me that, um, that his neighbor's going to talk to him and Dave's going to send us a guitar for this auction, an autographed guitar. I'm like, wow, cool! I even think I ran back to corporate and told Dave, I'm like, Dave Navarro's guitar is coming! <laughs> Never came. <laughs> still, I waiting, tried. still waiting for this guitar. I think his neighbor failed to yeah. send us to tell him. I think so. so yeah. But anyway, so we've given Danielle crap about this from day one. I don't I don't have anything else for me to say because I don't know. But um <laughs> Um they were really ready to get rid of you. That's not that's oh, yeah, not a roast. <laughs> You on. Every, time, so then, every time there was, I can't so wait, she was two with, more weeks till Miss Parrot's got Dania, one more week, one more day. So she was with Mrs. Severson for four months, she was with Miss Parrot for four months, she was with me for four years. <laughs> <laughs> we got the more annoying version though, we got the unsafe, we annoying the like 700 questions a day version. I had, I had 659. You got the calm down, like, Prozac version. So, <laughs> We had to say 2013 in the graduation. I think Brooke Anderson was the only one that caught 2013. So Danielle would come to me and she'd be like, Mrs. Gravy, I just figured out my graduation date. And this is January. She's like, I'm going to be done at the end of March. I'm like, you have 700 more hours to do. She's like, I swear I'm going to be done at the end of March. Well, then she wouldn't come to school for four days, but she'd still be done at the end of March. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're going to be done in 2013, pretty sure. So I told her on her graduation we had to say 2013. <laughs> So Mrs. Severson really did it. But um, no, on a, on a non-roasting note, um, I agree with Severson that she, like I said, that, that Twittering, MySpacing, Facebooking, whatever, whatever she's doing, you might want to ask her because um, she's got hookups everywhere. Like she said, when she went to Chicago, she had it all laid out where she was going to go, what she was going to do, who she was going to talk to, and that's why she's going where she's going. And she's going to get an amazing job. She's going to help out, do some other things before she starts doing hair. But, um, you know, you're going to go far, and knowing those people, and, you know, maybe Dave Navarro will get you a job in his band, I don't know, but um, I just, like, I can't say one bad thing that, you know what, sometimes as frustrating as it was that you always wanted to talk to somebody and always wanted that, you know, somebody to write you a letter of recommendation or whatever, um, be like that, push for that, because that's what's going to get you to where you need to go, and... I do have a feeling you might be one of our famous Le James graduates. <laughs> I, I, I do I do have to say that from the bottom of my heart. So um, yeah, we really are gonna miss you around here and you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do without the seven hundred without the seven hundred questions. Yeah. Yeah, you better fly us all to wherever you are on vacation or something, because you always you always your cover <laughs> But um, good luck, congratulations, I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you made it before 2013. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going to need a chair for this. Like another Jamie Charles. Yeah. I have a list. Not going to lie. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start out saying is we, during your hour and a half lunches for, our web, for the webinars, we go to trainings. And one of our trainings was about students who ask numerous, 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 numerous questions every day and get you off track. And what you need to do is give them a certain number of bobby pins.
questions each day, and when they run out of questions and they run out of bobby pins, they can't say a word the rest of the day. So I came back and did this to Miss Danielle Palmer. So I have 13 bobby pins for you. There's I learned about Danielle today, and this might help give us a little background into where Danielle comes from. Danielle had a crush on Mr. Potato Head. I did? She <laughs> would walk, I told you that everything was going to be true. She would run around with an orange bowl on her head, beads all down, the Mr. Potato Head glasses, wearing nothing but a towel. Mom! <laughs> and your mom was going to read me a picture, but I didn't oh, talk back there soon. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, I first met Danielle in term one, and I all I knew her as was that big brother girl. I didn't even know her name. Oh, it's that big brother girl. It's all over YouTube, strumming her cat guitar. I just, I just thought you were weird. I was just like, that weirdo has been here two weeks. She's getting ready to sign her leave papers when she goes on Big Brother and wins and makes a scholarship. I'm like, who is this girl? crazy. <laughs> then I learned you as the girl that sits in the second classroom right on the end of the counter and rolls her own cigarettes. <laughs> this big bag of tobacco and she's rolling her own cigarettes. And the old ladies on the 24 are staring her down as she's sitting in the classroom just rolling away. Just licking her rolling away. <laughs> term two. <laughs> Maybe a week or two into Nail's class, all I hear are these inputs, input after input, while I'm teaching class. And finally, I'd, I had had it, and I threw my hands up in the air, and what did I say to you, Miss Danielle? You think you know it? I'll come up here and teach. Would you like to come up and teach this class? And I didn't hear a word out of her for the rest of the day. She scared me. <laughs> Kind of wanted to quit school. <laughs> kind of excites me. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't learn this till today. I would it right here. <laughs> then we move to makeup class, and the real Danielle comes out. Oh, no. Danielle informs the class that if you want to do a cat eye with your eyeliner, you need to follow from the bottom eyeliner. Because if you do it from the top, it just looks stupid. <laughs> well, I do it from the top every single day. <laughs> and she tells the class that it's stupid. <laughs> Bob, I make it look stupid to you every day, Danielle. <laughs> then I find out Danielle comes back one day, and her arm's a little, a little stiff. She's got a fresh tattoo. She did have Carrie's face on her arm, then she just covered it up with a silhouette of me, and she wanted to keep me forever. If you'd like to see it, I'm sitting in the mirror in the face, permanently on your arm, but I still think you should have got the one on your hand. <laughs> then we are preparing for the makeup contest. This would have been eight months ago, today. We're preparing for the makeup contest, and all I keep hearing about is Avatar. Avatar, Avatar, Avatar. I have no idea what Avatar was. No clue. I'm like, what are you talking about? And that was the first day that I really saw into your talent. And I have to give you props for that because Chelsea looked amazing. Yes, she did. Got no bobby pins? Oh, no, I think I forgot to hand you one. <laughs> then Danielle starts talking about what she likes to eat. Oh, oh, Danielle! Geez. I know where we're going with this. Yeah, will I not know. eat fish or seafood or anything. She said she would rather eat anything out there before she'd eat fish. But if there's ketchup on it, she might. No. I asked her, would you rather eat a person than fish? She didn't answer me. <laughs> and this is where Danielle the cannibal started. <laughs> And she thought I was just crazy for thinking that she would actually eat a person, and then we took a vote. And I would just 